Can you go there? That's that's good. That's closer. That's yeah. Yes, that's very good. Well done. <laughs> Y'all bugging, bro. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy I newbie back at you with another reaction to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Episode three and four. I hit the microphone there in my intro, messed it up a little bit, but we gonna keep it rolling. So yeah, in the last episodes, we uh, went over the Elk Brothers, pretty much our introduction to what they did. They tried to bring their moms back. It backfired. You're not supposed to uh, commit the alchemy of trying to bring a person back to life. Human alchemy, I think it's called. You're not supposed to do that. That's a sin amongst the alchemy world. And they did it. And in, in return, um, Alphonse lost his body and Edward lost his leg and then he lost his arm trying to get his brother's soul back and then he put that into the, the suit of armor and that's why they're running around they're trying to find the philosopher's stone in order to get both Edward's uh, arm and leg back and Alphonse's body back to normal and we got a little introduction to them and we know that since they tried to do it Edward learned the truth. I guess he's seen God or the truth. I'm not really sure what that entity was as a whole, but it was some form of the truth. And since he's seen that, he doesn't need a transmutation circle in order to commit alchemy. He can just do it. And that's special. I guess other people need that circle. They have to draw those little circles. Like, um, like Roy, he has them on his gloves in order for him to do the flames and stuff. So uh, that makes him special in a way because he's seen the truth and they also said one other person could do it which was his teacher and i'm guessing that's that's the lady who uh they showed earlier they didn't say her name i don't think but uh i think we're i guess we're gonna see her later on and if you didn't see my first episode like i said i have seen the first four or five episodes before years and years and years ago so i'm re-watching them now to get a refresher and i'm cutting them together so i'm just mashing them together so i can uh refresh myself so i don't remember everything about these episodes but i do remember some things like i said i have seen to the point where um they made that little girl into a dog so if that happens i think that happens in episode i don't know if it happens in three or four but it happens somewhere around here so i don't know when it's gonna happen but it's gonna happen soon and when it does happen just know i know it happens so Let's hop into it. You know, subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out that little bell, you know, because I do upload daily. Keep them notifications coming. I do appreciate you coming through, and I hope you enjoy my videos. Check out some of my other videos if you enjoy this one. I do upload daily, like I said before. We on that road to 500. And, uh, yeah, let's hop into it. Full Metal Alchemist Episode 3. Let's get it. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah, they were coming to this place to try to find a Philosopher's Stone. I remember they were on the train last episode. Ooh. You done fucked up, Al. Okay. So they can fix things with alchemy as well. So, like, if something is broken, they can just put it back together. So he's doing alchemy without matters. obeying the laws. You shouldn't be able to do that. Oh. Yeah, just one way. Think. So that's what the Philosopher's Stone allows. The Philosopher's Stone allows you to do alchemy without obeying the laws of equivalent exchange, I'm guessing. And that's why they needed to bring their body back. I'm not really sure on how they're going to use it to bring their body back. I'm not sure if they explained it already. Cutie pie. I like her hair. <laughs> they be roasting my man's height constantly. It's a struggle being short, man. I'm not a tall man myself. <laughs> So he said it's never, it's never been a case of somebody bringing a human back. So this is not something that's ever, ever been successfully done. They said the same thing on Bla on Breaking Bad, Breaking Breaking Bad. Good 
live the physical lives that die in this world. Try to learn the truth. Yeah, thanks. No, we understand. We won't take too much of this time. Good. Then let's agree. Ooh, you better watch out. Cray, what is this? It's a setup. Those these heathens have come to ensnare the Heathens. They always like to throw that word around. Religious people. These heathens. Ooh. Ooh. Punch the shit out of him. God damn. Nope, where you going? Oh yeah, that's right. Bothy. <laughs> sacred order father carnella well there are a few things i'm curious about like how you've been using second-rate alchemy to deceive your followers my dear boy i don't know what you mean what you're doubting i see as alchemy are the miracles of the sun god leto so he's saying it's the but sun god leto something from nothing in this way yeah that's what i didn't get at first how can you perform transmutations that ignore the law of equivalent exchange as i said so but he can do it no, he can't do it. He can just do it out of circle. Somehow managed to acquire a certain object to amplify your alchemy. Yeah. One that's said to make the impossible possible. That would explain everything. What? I'm talking about the philosopher's stone. Your ring. That's it, isn't it? Rose, dear. Yes, father. Oh, she about to. She about to use her. That's the worst, man. I talked about this in that Samurai Shampoo episode. Using people, man. No. Using people religious beliefs to control them. It's the worst. This is God's will. Only a piece of shit would do some stuff like that, you know? Use a person's faith to control them like that. It's the worst, dude. I mean, you can shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. Poor Edward. They always roasted me. He's been lying to you, Rose. You're wrong. I've seen his miracles. Father Cornella will bring him back to life. I have faith. Mm. Couldn't you maybe do enough already? Right? Now you feel goofy. Nothing. An empty suit of armor that walks and speaks. Hello. Are you still doubt it, Rose. This unholy thing is an abomination. And now he's the devil, right? He's an abomination. And I believe my chimera should be up to the task. Chimera? So this is the sort of thing you do with the philosopher's stone. That's just twisting. What's the back part made out of? It's like a lion mixed with a What's the back part? He always makes spears. Transmutation circles? So the state alchemist title isn't just for show. You truly are gifted. Go on. Get a good Oh, we kicked the dog shit out of that lion. God damn. You <laughs> a brother trapped in armor. Yeah. It's all becoming clear now. If you fools are really so eager to play God, then perhaps I should send you to feed him. Oh man, just turn oh, man, just turn a cane into a, a chain gun? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's crazy. That armor, that pseudo armor is strong. It's taking bullets. <laughs> That's a strong ass pseudo armor. My man just made a door. Oh, we out. Tiptoeing in my Jordans. <laughs> Them boys is gone. <laughs> Dude, you got a gun, bro. My man had a gun. Why didn't? You, why aren't you shooting? <laughs> why are you talking? Come quietly, boy. <laughs> Shoot this motherfucker. All we can do is keep moving. But Father Cornella said that this was perfect. So just because your your brother failed, that doesn't mean it doesn't mean. My man, using your faith against you, man. That's what people do. They just are, use that shit to manipulate you, and that's crazy. People, 
people fall for it all the time. Yeah, <laughs> like, why would you explain your plan right there? Like, I don't understand. What well, well, what's the purpose of that? <laughs> you messed up, man. You done messed up good. Even that, that's, that's my face right there. Bro. Whoop. Stop it. Ooh. What happened? A rebound. Is he doing alchemy on himself? Is that like, did he turn himself into something? Ooh, what is this? Oh man, became Bane. Oh damn, he blocked it? <laughs> How strong is Edward? I definitely didn't expect Edward to block that shit like that. Ooh. Ooh, headbutt. That's the stone right there. Get it. Grab it. Oh, whoa. What the hell? So if it was fake, then how was he using it like that? You know what I mean? Like, even if it was fake, how was he able to, you know, use it to make alchemy? You know what I mean? Like, what kind of material was that? Like, what was that thing? <laughs> if it wasn't a philosopher's stone, what was it? People don't come back from the dead, Rose. Not ever. People use your religion against you, man. That's a good. That's a good lesson, man. You know, when people l lose religion or something like that, you know, you just gotta figure out what you're gonna do on your own. It's rough. I knew I should have just decided a little bit. What's that girl again? And that was gluttony, right? Gluttony, yeah. One of the seven sins. Ooh, what is that? Is he eating them? The fuck? So yeah, um, that episode was pretty much about them trying to find a philosopher's stone from that guy, and he was using religion in order to control people. And it's funny because I just watched an episode of Cowboy Bebop, not Cowboy Bebop, Samurai Shampoo, which a guy was doing the same thing, using religion to kind of control people. And um, yeah, it's it's funny that that kind of correlated like that. But anyways. So yeah, the Philosopher's Stone turned out to be fake, and he wasn't able to bring her dead um, fiancé back, and he never was. But what's weird to me is he was still able to disobey the law of equivalent exchange, right? So it was doing something. Like, it was still some type of power that was given to him, and I'm guessing it was given to him by that girl and Gluttony. And Gluttony ate him? Like, is he eating people? Like, what is he? I think he was eating something before, too. I'm guessing his name is Gluttony because he's he eats a lot um and that's one of the seven seven sins so i'm wondering um i mean that's his name so his name implies that he eats a lot that's what gluttony is so i don't know what what role they play in this whole thing i'm sure they're important they're probably the overarching bad guys in some way but yeah i guess they gave it to him and they were using him as a pawn and she said father will not be pleased so father is probably their boss whatever he does so i don't know what that is but anyways and also edward said he doesn't believe in god because they're scientists they're alchemists and alchemists are scientists and they don't believe in god but edward seen god right like the truth or god or whatever you call that entity that he's seen that showed him the truth isn't that 
God. Like he's he's seen that. So he said he didn't believe in it, but but he's seen it. Right? Am I am I tripping? Is that not God? I don't know. Because it, the way the way the thing explained it is like he said he, he has different names. I am God. I am you. I am whatever you want to say, you know, whatever. You know, God has many names. So I assume that that was in a way God. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe somebody else can clarify that for me. But yeah, that was a good episode. And uh, I guess we're going to continue on. Let's go uh, move on to episode four. All right. Let's get it. And while the theme song is playing, now that I think back to when to when I watched it, when I watched the uh, the one I watched a long time ago, I could have sworn he did bring back her fiance, or something happened. I don't know. It's very it's a very vague memory, but I remember there she seen something like in a curtain, like it was a bed and there was a curtain, right? And like there was like a like a figure behind the curtain or something and. It was similar to how they seen their mother, right? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I'm tripping. Maybe it was something else. But I could have sworn I seen something like that when I watched this before. Or maybe it was the original Full Metal Alchemist that I seen and not Brotherhood. I'm not sure. But anyway, anyways, I don't know. All right. An Alchemist Anguish. Episode 5. So yeah, that was good words he said to the, the girl. You know, stand up and walk, man. You, you gotta move forward. The Iron Blood Alchemist. Perhaps. The Iron Blood Iron Alchemist. But this time, you picked the wrong target. Ooh, my man coming. That animation is dope. <laughs> my man made cannons. The cannon. My man dodged all those bullets. You gonna dodge all the chains too? All right, you in the iron box? How you can get out of this? Come on now, right? Don't walk up to the box. Don't walk up to the box, bro. Be better. Be better. <laughs> oh. How did he kill him? He just electrocuted him. Why would you walk up to the box? I would like squeeze the box or something, you know? All right, so this guy's going around. The next one he comes after. This going around killing state alchemists. And he said you're going against God, so I guess he's like a religious dude. Kira Bradley, Your Excellency, what brings you here? The receiver on this thing's seen better days. I think I'm gonna have to replace it. Ooh. Can anybody do that? They're all alchemists, right? So can't anybody just draw a circle and just do that? Just fix it. You know what I mean? I know he doesn't need a circle to do it, but can anybody just draw a circle and, and fix it? Bioalchemy. Okay. So I feel like I'm seeing that they're all specializing in certain alchemy. Mm. This is the dude that does that nonsense. Okay, what's the catch? You want something, don't you? Don't doubt my motives. I'm trying to repay you for your work on the Lior case. After that, it refused to eat until it got its wish. Could you imagine being a being that's so depressed that you just you just don't eat until you pass away? Nina, my daughter's name is Nina. I'm sorry about the mess. This is gonna make me super upset. I didn't even remember her name was Nina. I watched this well before my daughter was born. A man in here making monstrosities. Kind of embarrassing. I'm fairly widely regarded as an authority on this matter, but the truth is. It hasn't actually been going that well lately. That smile on his face, you know what I mean? Like, he's like, it hasn't been going that well lately. It's just creepy, man. Everything about him is creepy. All right, let's dive in. I'll start with this junk. Quite a cat feed here. A couple of savages. Mm. And he got that creepy voice as well. And when he adjusts those glasses, you know, anime. 
<laughs> Start playing with her. She's cute, man. You can't help it, man. You know, a little cute girl, man. You're going to start playing with her, too, man. That's how it goes. I don't mess with dogs, though. I'm not a dog person at all. I know people going to hate me for it, but I really don't like dogs. I just don't. I <laughs> just don't, man. <laughs> why the dog? Why the dog do him like that? <laughs> oh, the puns! <laughs> Hit him in the face with the puns. That's your daughter, man. You know what I mean? Your, your daughter is... Look how... Oh, my God, man. You know? And her name is Nina. That's my daughter's name, man. This is your daughter, man. This is this is everything. And she loves you. And she's hugging you. And she's like, Daddy, you'll do it. Giving you words of encouragement, man. So there's no limit to their alchemy. Like, there's no, like, like uh, power limit, I want to say. Like, uh, uh, chakra or key or something like that. It's just as long as there's an equivalent exchange, you can they can just continuously do it. Damn, bro. I didn't know. I, I don't remember that. I thought she died. For some reason, I remember she died. Oh, no, no, no. I remember what happened to his wife. I'm bugging. I remember. When he said that. <laughs> Y'all bugging, bro. The fact that this this kid's name is Nina and everything that's just fucking with me. I don't like it. I'm really trying to keep it together. Every time, man. I uh, I remember seeing this before, man. It's just the worst, bro. I would have chopped this dude's head off right now. Yeah, man, I would have, I would have lopped this dude's head off right here, bro. Ain't no way, man. Yeah, that's what I said. I remember what happened with his wife. I mean, it's different, bro. They tried to bring their mother back. They didn't kill their daughter, or I don't even know. She didn't die, but they, he like mutated her into a a, a dog, or I don't know, mixed her with a dog. I don't know what you call it. Fused her. It's the worst, dude. And he, look at him. He seems proud of it. That's what's even worse about it, man. Smash this dude's face in, man. Good. Good. Edward, no. Daddy. 
she still she still cares about her dad you know what I mean and they can't even fix it even with all our power we can't do anything to change it back shit is shit is whack bro we know the truth we know I'm not Dennis you know we're not gods we're human Why buddy boy's here to shape you up, man. About to sort you out real quick. Who are you? Not military. Who yeah, he, he, my man here to sort you out real quick, man. I mean, he's gonna show you something. Foolish alchemists have turned their backs on the ways of God. You shall be punished. Hook him up. There we go. Hook him up. Oh, poor girl, man. And she's crying for him. You know, to put her out of her misery. She was a little girl, man. She didn't even have a chance. Fear me. Your human souls have just been returned to you. He got red eyes. Is that significant? And he got like a scar on his face too. So yeah, that was uh that was episode four. It almost got me, man. <laughs> It almost got me when she started speaking. The dog started speaking. It almost got me. Even though I knew it was happening, I knew it was going to happen. It almost got me because one of my daughter's name is Nina. I've said that multiple times during the episode. My daughter's name is Nina. And if I've ever seen something like that happen, you know, how could you do that to your child, man? To your girl, to, to your little girl, man. And she, my daughter's like six years old, you know? And that's, that's crazy. <laughs> that's all I got to say, man. That's, that's crazy, man. The man let his own ambitions get in the way of he he killed his he killed his wife or he didn't necessarily kill her but he merged his wife with some type of animal I, they didn't really show it I don't know what kind of animal it was but he did it to her two years ago and then he did it to his daughter now and the fact that he's just willing to just give up his whole family for his alchemist certifications is is beyond me man I'm I'm, I'm speechless on that I don't know what to say man but anyways. So earlier, Armstrong also said that alchemy, alchemists was originally used to, for, like, scientists. They're scientists, right? But then the military started using them as weapons. And then they were used in the, I think it's called the Ishlin War. And that's why people hate them now, is because of the atrocities that they uh, were used for in the war. So that's interesting. I wonder what all happened in that war. Because apparently a lot of them had stuff to do with that war. So I wonder if they're going to flesh that out more. Or talk more about that because a lot of them look like they were involved in that in, to some degree. And that has a lot to do with what's happening now, I guess. Because uh, that guy with the with the stuff on his face, I don't know his name. He had that scar on his face and he had the red eyes and he was killing the alchemists. He, he said something about God, but I think he's, he spills over from that war. So he's probably like... Something had happened to him in that war, and he's, you know, getting revenge on the alchemist for that. And also, the first, the dude in the first episode, he also said something about the war as well. So, that war is now having consequences on the alchemists now in the city, or the world as a whole, I guess. So, yeah. So, I think this is the last episode I had seen before, and I think I'm, from now on, I'm pretty sure I'm fresh. So from now on, I think this is uh, it's all going to be brand new to me. Even then, a lot of that I don't really remember. I just remember him turning his uh, daughter into the, uh, I think it's a chimera, into the chimera. But yeah, it was really good. And I, like I said, it almost it had me watering up a little bit. I was, uh, <laughs> it made me mad. But yeah, this is really good. I, I really enjoy these episodes. I really enjoy this show. So like, comment, subscribe, you know, tickle that little bell. I do upload daily. I appreciate y'all rocking with me, you know, if you made it this far into the video, you know, check out one of these other videos. It's probably up on the screen right now. Check out the first video if you haven't already. It's in the playlist and all that. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to see y'all boys on the next episode of Full Metal Alchemist. This is going to be being uploaded daily. So, yeah, it's going to be right here. All right, see y'all boys there. Deuces.